Hey everyone, this is Jyoti. I'm not gonna say you can call me Jo because a lot of people are like, why? Why should we call you Jo? So it's totally fine. <laughs> call me Jyoti. Madhura is with me. You don't need to call her Maddie either. Yes, just call me Madhura. It's fine. You know, uh, yeah. both of us like our we, names. She likes Jyoti. I like Madhura. So we were just good. trying to make it easier for y'all, but it's all yes. good. It's all good. It's so all good. What are we reacting to today? Uh, your crush, your latest crush, Timothy Chalamet. So this one is just for you, Joe. This is just for you. There's nothing else. So we are reacting so to the, the trailer. Um, the one I've been waiting the for. Trailer you've been waiting for, and uh, let let the record show that Joe has been very patiently waiting, despite having the world's biggest crush on Timothy Chalamet, and she's not watched the trailer yet. So it's a huge sacrifice she's making for this channel. Let me just say that it's it's not a crush because he's he's so he's too young for me to have a crush on him. That would not be cool. I just think he's the next. Uh, he's 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 like a. He's the he's next like big a, thing to watch. He's a, he's a legend in the making. He's on his way to becoming that, and I deeply mm -hmm. deeply admire his talent. Deep. Okay. I love his work okay. so far. Okay. So. Anything that has his name on it, I am automatically just watching it. Yeah, because okay. he's gonna excel. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if the film flops. Doesn't matter if the story. He's gonna excel in whatever he's doing. I have full faith. Also, he's a Capricornian, so it's a given. It's like, <laughs> just take my money. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is the this is the the 2020 trailer for the Dune. Um, this is not the first time the movie has had an outing. Uh, it was already it's an adaptation of Frank yeah. Herbert's novel of the same name. Wow. Yeah, so which has two parts and it was adapted to screen in 1984. Yeah, uh, that also uh -huh. had a huge stellar star cast because it's it's like the scale is such right. Yeah, I mean it's of the scale of Game of Thrones and Star Wars. It is a franchise that has. That has so many arcs that you can't do it with like a small star cast. Mm. So it's a huge ensemble cast. And people and are very uh, passionate about that world and the characters and apparently even yes. the houses and the families and all of that. Yes. So yes, it's, yes. I don't yes. know anything about the books or the 84 movie except that it didn't do very well uh, back in no, the day. No, it didn't. It no? didn't. Yeah. And no, uh, didn't. this, they're kind of rebooting it and it's a two part. Uh, this is... This one is also a two part, yeah, because yeah. the book is a two part, and then there were five sequels to it, and then there were three prequels to it. So, you know, the whole thing is about 10 to 12 books if you want to read and get into each one of the families, how the families came wow. up to be, how the worlds came to be. It's a very fascinating. So it's a universe very that, detailed universe and very... It's a very so detailed many. with sci-fi and all of it. And it's very interesting because some of the worlds, if you read the book, even though he wrote it in 1965, now when you read it, you'll feel like, oh, he called it. You know, the book kind of... It's kind of a lot of science fiction that actually gets what is reality now. Uh, so you kind of like Star kind Trek. Of moments like Star yeah. Trek or... Some even call Simpsons, you know, where they predicted a lot of scenarios, right? Oh, so yeah. it's kind of like that. So, but again, um, this one has Very Timothy Chalamet as the uh, protagonist. He plays Paul Latridis. And uh, opposite him, it is Zendaya who's cast. Um, she's cast in the character of Chani. Oscar Isaac plays his father, Leto. Um, again, it's a huge star even cast. Jason Momoa is in this. Uh, Jason Josh, is also uh, in this. Uh, Josh this, Brolin is in this. Yes, and uh, um, someone else. I remember a few of you them. You have Rebecca Ferguson. Someone. You have Charlotte La Rampling. So you have a, a, a. It's it's a huge star cast. I mean, too many to list right now. So I think we should just watch the trailer. The trailer is also three minutes uh, in duration. So we'll watch it and we'll have a lot and to discuss. Talk about. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Okay. Ready? Shall we? Yes. One, two, three, play. There's something happening to me. There's something awakening in my mind. I can't control it. What did you see? <gasps> There's a crusade coming. <sighs> Do you often dream things that happen? just as you dreamed them. Yes.
The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box, and you die. Oh, it's in the box. Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. Arrakis is a death trap. I'll kill him. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. One day, the legend will be born. All of I love the soundtrack, it's kingdom. giving me goosebumps. Ah, uh, yeah. The future, I can see it. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Ooh, I want to see the worm. Go, go, go! Yeah. Nice. Fresh. Oh my god. Yes. Lovely. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I've read the books. I think I've read seven or eight out of the ten. And the trailer brings the books to life. It's very difficult to do with a sci-fi franchise. It's very difficult and, and the trailer does it. Arrakis is exactly how you imagine. The worms are exactly how you imagine. Well done. I mean, this is my immediate reaction. I don't think you've seen me excited about a trailer this much. <laughs> still have goosebumps. I still have goosebumps. Oh my God. Oh my God. This, like, as a franchise or as a world, uh, this has, um, I'm not even going to compare it because I don't think it'll, that'll, that'll be justice to this. But, um, but in terms of proportion, it has uh, potential to read Star Wars, Star Wars. Star Trek, Star yes. Wars, Game of Thrones proportions. Yes. Um, even for people like me who've never read the books or, um, you know, watch the older film or know much about the mm -hmm. world, I just know the basic superficial uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. oh my God. And the thing is, um, uh, so, okay, first you go. <laughs> no, no, you go, you go. Then I, so, I will save my nerdy bits for the last because yeah, you haven't so, read the book. So I don't no, want to like start so, geeking out on it. So my thing is, uh, and this is as a complete ignorant person, uh, when you are uh, watching uh, a sci-fi film, uh, mm -hmm. you, it's not it's not necessarily the uh, VFX or the you know the fight scenes or all of that that pull you in. Like I love that in mm -hmm. Star Wars, but that's not why I go to watch those mm -hmm. films. I go for the story, mm -hmm. I go for the characters, I go for the plot and I go for the, you know, the values of the the families and the story. Yes. And yes. The, yes. Uh, so in this, you can see all of that because like a Game of Thrones pulls us in because it's about honor, integrity and house, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. valor and all those, mm -hmm. uh, all those values that basically make you want to like even avatar for that that matter it was a complete mm -hmm. sci-fi futuristic non-existent world but because the characters and their connection and the, the writing world, right? and the, the writing it's it's about the relationships and um, the history mm -hmm. the legacies of the houses mm -hmm. or the families and what they're fighting for the the values mm -hmm. uh, yeah that mm -hmm. they're holding and of course the the other things which um 
the sci-fi bits of course in the story which you know why are they on that planet why were, mm-hmm. why is it a death mission <clears throat> why are, why is mm-hmm. that family being targeted um mm-hmm. who is like you could see jason momoa is teaching him how to fight so fight, that yes. whole teacher uh, that guru uh, student relationship thing will be a big uh, thing in the film you can tell and you know just mm-hmm. the just the actors who are in this i i am i'm sold i'm sold i want i want to dive I, straight into this world I, i it's actually made me want to and i've been thinking about it ever since i heard that it's going to be adapted to on screen again and and this time it's going to be dennis via vnuf that's how you say right it's vnuf he's the guy who made um um what was that movie which was a remake of the harrison ford film uh blade runner blade runner yeah so uh, yeah the 2046 which is with uh, ryan gosling he made the sequel yeah it didn't so do again, well though, right? you know he, he didn't do well but you know he kind of did justice to the original like you know you oh. kind of need to get into it because he creates this whole world and it's it's a future dystopia uh, all of that so he can do scale so when i read he was going to do it i've been thinking about oh i should go back and pick up the last book where i left you know mm-hmm. i should finish the whole franchise and now i'm really tempted to you go should. back and dig into it and because when i was reading up about the trailer i was like oh yeah i remember this character oh i i've, I've forgotten about this i and i because i did all of these back to back there was like i think 12 or 18 months where i was just going from one dune book to the other so it was all so fresh in my mind right. if only i could read like that now i i have such serious add but, but yeah i i think i will pick those books up now because one i love getting lost in a, in the world of a book and this world now is just after watching this trailer i am just fascinated like i think from like the second minute till the end of the trailer i had goosebumps it, yes. it and yes. and for long after the trailer ended also they they were not going <laughs> you just get so uh, yeah i don't know how correct. to explain it but correct um, so um timothy shalame plays paul atreides he is from the family house of atreides so actually his family lives on on a water planet so the the fa- the planet that his father was ruling and then that's where you hear in the trailer now he's being given another and one and he's lost that planet and he's going yeah. to lose yeah so he loses that planet and just like you have this imperial council right like of the galaxies in in star wars there is also something like that because the story picks up from a point where earth as we know it has been dist- destroyed you know like human yeah. beings have destroyed earth and then they have found different worlds and yeah. and each planet has uh, you know like the star trek each planet has a different kind of or even star wars different kind of inhabitants just different kind of people it's not humans everywhere and arrakis is the desert planet it's it's the planet where there's no water mm-hmm. and um, jason uh, so paul and his family are sent there he's seen as the chosen one you know that he's supposed to unify everybody and that's what they identify him as the chosen one it's a epic story that kind of unfolds and paul is at the center of it all arakis has melange that is that is highly valued it's also something that gives people visions and the worms ah. are there wherever you have the melange so um so you to get in you kind of have to deal with them you have to kind of deal with them because they are always they 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 also consume the melange and they also kind of protect the melange so you have to be there and you know people who live in the desert it's very fascinating how they've shown to have adopted to life there adapted not adopted adapted because for them water is very um uh precious so they all wear these stilt suits they have those uh, you know like those you see those tubes in their nose because they don't want to even lose water while they're breathing you know um and they have some fascinating rituals and you have to walk a certain way in the desert so that the worm doesn't detect you you know um so it's it's very very fascinating how each one of these worlds have been set up and and i think from the first look of the trailer he, he's done a great job of bringing that to life there are very few trailers you read a franchise and say they've done justice to it and i am very excited by the dune like and i'm also glad they're making it in 2020 because 
if you see the 1984 the technology is much better now yes, to get the ball right exactly so with the advancement i think it's a great place to actually bring these kind of worlds with vfx to life which is it's such a treat for somebody who likes cinema at this scale right so the vfx is going to be amazing uh, it's going to be the cherry on 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 top and what i like uh, is that they saved the worm for the last right they saved, yes they saved it for the last two or three four whatever seconds and seconds and exactly and, and, and the music has peaked and your your like goosebumps are and then you see the worm and then you're like correct correct exactly <laughs> <laughs> you had and the that. worm i mean the, the 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 description of the worm and when you read something the kind of visuals you get in your head right and i think the trailer captures those visuals i think for me i think that's what i am the most excited about this trailer is that it captures the way the worm is described the way you see the 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 whatever the the mouth of the worm yeah the uh, whole, uh, the whole, yeah all of that you know you're just like ooh this this is exactly like how i pictured it in my that's head that's amazing Which, that's amazing that yeah. you got that right oh my god i cannot the hype is real my excitement is real i can't even imagine yours yours is be 100 times mine <laughs> I'm uh, gonna pick up the books for sure, and just the 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 music they use in this trailer, a special mention, of course. Um, apparently, they were gonna make this movie fifty years ago, and mm-hmm. um, they wanted to use Pink Floyd's music, and mm-hmm. they couldn't, and that movie never got made. But now they use oh. it in this trailer. So, I read that in a uh, in some uh, some article on online. Okay. Um, because i was like why is everyone so hyped about this movie so i was read i think it was some hollywood reporter or something mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. but yeah so anyway it's uh, this this is this is the the 2020 film no for for this is the one to watch i think in terms of scale i think we need something to look forward to now that we won't have um, you know after the rise of the skywalker we won't have anything else to look forward to we we've, we've kind of gotten conditioned to expect a huge star wars release around christmas i mean luckily our generation had it otherwise we've all had to watch it like you know vhs tapes or dvds or you know so it's nice to have one of these gigantic you know these epic yeah and it's a december release so we don't know uh, you know whichever part of the world you are whether yeah. you know cinemas will be open and um, yeah. I, a lot of like i don't know if in the us they will be because i think till 2021 there's little hope of Correct. cinemas Correct. opening but Correct. anyway let's uh, whichever part of the world uh, whoever is in uh, let's hope you get to watch it in the big screen let's hope we all get to watch it on the big screen Correct. this this movie you can't watch it at home you, you just can't i no no you no. can't watch it at home don't even think about watching it on your no. laptop like exactly. please don't 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 just, do that to yourself find a, just yes, wait find an imax screen also find a, a a movie hall where the sound quality is good you know yeah. like i can say that from from ex- my experience where a, a good movie was ruined because i couldn't hear the dialogues because the sound in in the movie hall was so bad so find find one which has legit good sound uh, and an imax screen if possible and watch it i wouldn't push the 3d i'm not sure if there is a 3d offering i wouldn't push 3d on everybody because some oh. people really get a headache i don't but like 3d make but make sure best yeah. sound and nice biggest screen screen possible yes yeah and you oh i must that line where he says uh, where my mind uh, there is no fear in my mind it reminded me of where the mind is without fear <laughs> it did just i just yeah i remember that but uh, of course timothy you have won my heart again <laughs> just in 3 minutes i mean really okay i just have to say uh, he, you know uh, call me by your name call me by uh, yeah your name and then i have all the other films i've seen of his lady bird whatever um, mm. the the king I I I just I cannot get over the intensity of his eyes like he just has such like his screen presence you cannot look at anything else when this hmm. actor, actor is, on screen. is on screen I mean he is the next he's a I won't say he's the next Leo or anything he is the 
Timothy and he's a legend in the making. That's all I will say. And he, I do think that he's having a great run. I mean, I, I, I do think that he's a, he's a good performer. There's a certain sensitivity and he brings to his roles, which he is very comfortable. He's very at ease in, and he really gets into any role. And, and uh, even with this, I think because of what, Paul is supposed to be and where he's supposed to be and how old he's supposed to be. I think he, he lends himself really well. He shows a lot of promise. Uh, I would still wa wait and watch, you know. Um, I, as, and this is from someone who absolutely loved him in Call Me By Your Name. I think it's, it's a great portrayal. But I'd, I'd also want to see him in the long run. I'd hate for him to become another Daniel Radcliffe or, or somebody who started out with a lot of promise but you know, then there is a lull in their careers. That's exactly what I mean because he's done such different uh, kinds of roles already, even though they're small in number, but each one's so yeah. impactful and so different. He's already uh, shown that he's, he's like, he's not going to go a Harry Potter way because he'll only be known by that sort of role because he's starting out. He's done a body of work that's already speaks volumes for his talent. And now he's doing one big franchise, which could be the one big thing in the future that he yeah. is, you yeah. know, stands out yeah. in his career graph but yeah. he'll of course Correct. go on to continue doing all the various different types of roles yeah. as well so yeah. yeah he is in a good place to take on a role like this for sure uh, yeah. and yeah fingers crossed uh, we all get to watch it on the big screen it's just I hope so I hope we can I mean, I think this one deserves a big screen. This it's got Hans Zimmer's music her. as well, and that deserves the best kind of sound experience. Sound, you yes. You need. You you, please, afford. please pick. Please <laughs> pick a nice movie hall which has great yeah. sound. You know, okay. do yourself a favor and do that. This is just a public service announcement. Yes. <laughs> Consider it my good deed for the day. <laughs> please pick yes. a nice sound. Yes. Kamala <laughs> Theater. And I'm gonna pick up the books before this releases. So yeah. Yes. On that note, we have gone on we'll and see on. See in the next one. This is one yes. of our longest discussions. <laughs> it is one of our longest discussions. Yes, it's a record. Anything for Timothy, right? And anything for Dune. Anything for Dune for you, for me. Timothy. Anything for Timothy for you. <laughs> Chalo. Okay, we'll see you in the next okay. one. Bye. Oh, tell us in the comment what you like yes. the most, what yes. you're looking forward to the most, if you've read the books and what you have to say about this trailer. Would love to hear yes. from you. Okay. Yes. Sarah. Bye. Bye.